Ooh. 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 Do I? Ooh. Hi, everyone. It's been a hot second. I'm looking a bit rough right now, but we're gonna fix that. Okay, so today I'm gonna be doing a makeup look my everyday makeup routine this is just like my fall makeup look before we get started i have a package here from glamnetic i'm gonna do a little mini haul and then probably use some of these products on my makeup look today so this is my first time getting stuff from them so i'm kind of really excited i know they're really known for their magnetic eyelashes which i've been meaning to try out i actually have tried some other brands out and it just didn't work for me so i'm hoping that these work for me so the first item is lashes oh my gosh how cute i really do love eyelashes with the band like the strip it's just easier for me to apply them like very nice quality too these are in the style living lash they're like this super natural looking style okay next i have another pair of lashes i think these are all magnetic lashes they're like very very light and thin the last pair of lashes that i got are these somewhat dramatic lashes i am obsessed with this case look how cute that is these are slightly dramatic not like what i would wear day to day but i feel like for a fun night out i feel like these will work we have like these round almond shaped black nails which pretty much screams my fall aesthetic then we have these french tips i love french tips next we have oh the eyeliner for the lashes so it's a magnetic eyeliner felt tip so yeah that's the eyeliner and the last thing that's in here is little lash tweezers okay so that's all that i got in that little cute little package and now let's get started with this look because this is not pretty so the first thing that i'm going to be doing are my eyebrows yeah i started filling in my eyebrows and you guys know the saying once you start filling your eyebrows there's no going back I'm just gonna start by gently like outlining my eyebrows so I kind of have like a shape going. Okay, so my eyebrows are done. I don't even know if there's a difference. This definitely is my favorite eyebrow. Um, so I'm just gonna put some concealer on my eyes and then we're gonna do eyeshadow, mascara, eyeliner, and then that's it. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I'm using the Tartlet in Bloom eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna be using like these three shades down here just kind of like mix them until i have like the perfect shade on my eyelids so i'm actually going to start with sweetheart and i'm just going to put that on my lids first then i'm going to use rebel and i'm just going to like focus that shade on the outer part of my eyes so just kind of like that and then in my crease okay so it kind of looks like i have like fall on my eyes right now it's just very natural and I'm just using like a clean fluffy brush to just kind of like blend everything out. Okay, so next is eyeliner and I'm going to be using the Glamnetic Felt Tip Magnetic Eyeliner. And I'm just going to create a winged eyeliner. I like to start by drawing the wing first and then the line and then the triangles and then just connecting everything. okay that was so easy to use eyeliner is on now we're gonna curl our lashes mascara and put on those magnetic lashes so i think i'm gonna cut out like like this is just like way too long for my eyes i think that was like the wrong side so i'm gonna try this side okay i really like this it was so easy to put on and i think i cut the wrong side of this one it's all good you can't even tell it literally like sticks on so automatically i love the felt tip pen it was so easy to use it's not too watery um i love that it just like glides on pretty easily they feel pretty light on my eyes and it just looks natural okay so next step is foundation which has gotten so complicated for me um because skin is complicated um so i like using this Too faced concealer i kind of just like spot it on like areas that are like this and then i use the morphe two tinted 
or skin tint foundation and i love this stuff it's so easy to blend it looks so glowy and natural it just like blends with my skin tone it's like the perfect shade for my skin this is the medium with neutral golden undertones which i think that's like my skin thing but this is like the perfect shade for me and i love it so much so let's get started with this first i like to just dab a little bit of this like on like stubborn areas which is like everywhere honestly i kind of just like leave it like that for a little bit i find that blending concealer out like this with a flat brush really helps to conceal what you're trying to conceal um but you can also use a beauty blender but i feel like that's not very effective because like it just kind of soaks up all of that product so that's why i leave it like this for a little bit and then i can like use my beauty blender but um, if you're in a rush, I highly recommend using a flat brush, like an eyeshadow brush. So as you can see, it just like instantly covers whatever it is. Okay, so you see what I mean by like blending this out with a beauty blender? It kind of just like sucks the product out. I'm just going to use a little teeny tiny bit just on like this one side. I'm just going to do like a quick little drop and it's like very runny but this i really love this foundation and it just kind of like evens out your skin it gives you like that natural glow as well which i really love i'm gonna try to contour my nose which we all know i love doing that so i'm using like a flat brush I don't even know what this brush is called and I'm using this Tarte bronzing palette I'm just gonna create like two lines going down my nose and then on the bottom actually you know what I'm gonna start with the bottom first so I'm just gonna draw like like that to kind of like shorten the nose and then like that that is crooked that ugh already messed up seriously i suck at contouring nose i feel like i spend more time doing my nose than my entire face and that's sad i'm gonna use some translucent powder to bake the sides of my nose let's see Ooh, yeah no how do people like do this this is like I break all the makeup rules. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that there because something's gotta work. While my nose is baking, I'm just gonna like bronze up my cheek. So I'm using this end shade here in that same bronzing palette. And I'm just gonna like do it very lightly. Next, I'm gonna do a little bit of blush and I'm using my favorite blush, which is the Kylie We're Going Shopping blush. I use this blush like all the time. I'm just putting it on the apples of my cheeks and then I'm just gonna like blend it into the bronzer that I just did. Okay, I'm gonna dust off this powder now because it's been there for a while. It's actually a lot of powder. Oh, okay, so that didn't do anything. That was a waste of time, per usual. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighting. I'm using this Jill Stewart like highlighter, blush, all kinds of stuff in this palette. The highlighter, I'm just gonna like put this on the bridge of my nose. And then the tip of my nose. It's like very subtle. Brow bone. Inner corner of my eyes. Okay, and the final and last step is lips. And I'm going to line my lips with this Maybelline Shaping Lip Liner. This is in the shade Totally Toffee and then i line and then i fill it in and then i use this shimmer gloss from makeup revolution this is 
glisten and it's like a super like honey bronzy shade which I think is perfect for fall this smells like butterscotch <sighs> oh my god Okay, actually I lied. That's not the last step. The last step is setting spray and I just got this one. It's from Morphe. It's the mattifying continuous setting spray and it's supposed to like mattify your face and I know I love a glowy look but the only reason I got this is because I'm super oily and I crease a lot and I thought this was gonna like help my skin and I've used it a couple of times and it has actually worked. I hate setting spray. This literally like sprays powder on me and it's like all over me. It's kind of gross. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. It would make sense because it's like a mattifying setting spray but don't want this to dry white on my skin. Oh my god, I forgot this had powder on it and I'm patting it in. I just feel like this will keep my makeup in place and it has. So that's why I really like this one. I just don't like the way how it like sprays on you. It just, it's like weird. It's like, like powder and water mixed together, which is like gross. So this is the final and finished look. I finally found products that actually works with my skin tone as well. That's why I've been like really just using the same products over and over again. But yeah, this is my final look. If you guys are interested in trying out magnetic lashes, I will list Glamnetic's website and I do have a discount code with them. You guys can totally check that out. I highly recommend magnetic lashes. They're super easy to use, not messy. There's like no glue that you can see that because that's embarrassing. I really love them. But yeah, this is the complete look. And if you're interested in any of these products, I'll list them all down below. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.